We're out to find broken, useless websites and give them a purpose to grow your business. Welcome back. This is episode three of Viking Outdoor Web Design. In this episode, we're gonna be finishing up our second pass of the homepage, adding in the little details, the icons, uh, adjusting the colors to make them stand out, adding some textures to the pages and the rows and sections. And then finally, we'll be going over a little bit of the mobile and making those adjustments for the mobile devices. Uh, this is really important because in this episode, this is what at the end of this episode, this is what we're going to show the customer and get his uh, reactions to. So let's get started. Here's our next section is this, um, you know, kind of a how to get started. Uh, this definitely needs to be a lot bolder. Everything else has been, you know, we're playing with gradients and lights. Uh, we don't have any any dividers yet. Um, so we need to see if we can pull some of those, one of those in somewhere, maybe in between this section or in this section here. Um, but this text here definitely needs to be, this needs to be bold and dark. So let's see if we can change this color. So this is the number in the circles, circle. Uh, so if we go with the black. And then the number text, we're just gonna make that black. And then we've got a few more icons that we can play around with. So instead of using the divider, uh, let's try let's try these swords. Yeah, those are really big. I'll have to resize those for sure. Uh, so if we go to design, alignment, center, and then also we can go to filters, invert, and slide that to 100%. It's kind of a gray, <clears throat> but I think that's okay. And then we also want to scale it down. So sizing, width, there's 10% there. I can delete this little divider icon, and again, I think I think it looks better on top. We can extend the circle styles to the rest of the row. Um, but I feel like we've got too much going on. We've got gray, white, and black all in the section over the red, uh, which I kind of feel like is too much. The gray and the red kind of go together, so either it needs to be a, one or the other. We can try making, we can try making it all gray to match. B2, 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 so there's a gray color that kind of matches the swords. So we could try matching that circle. I've copied that to the clipboard. I click the um, eyedropper, paste that in. go okay then the number text
and then the I guess the title text underneath oh, I skipped it here it is so that's an h3 You know, if it's not quite readable, we can add, always add a shadow. That'll help separate it out. Make it three-dimensional. So let's extend these styles. Circle styles to this rest of this row. So it's uh, all the colors kind of match. I got a little bit of black shadow behind those texts there. Uh, so I'm not 100% about this, but at least it's you know it's kind of styling in. Uh, so the the other part of what's going on is I actually we need this section here to be on top. So we're gonna drag this how to get started section basically underneath the services before the testimonials. So we got to get that rearranged a little bit. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't always move. Okay. All right. So then, so we're kind of building a portfolio and telling a story. We got this image with the lighting, uh, and then with the story here. We got more part of the story then plus we also have these pictures of different things that he does the the deck um, building and the stone and the lighting all together and then that's what this section is really about uh, so again let's grab our our falk net here I'll duplicate this one and add it to this section down here Oh, I didn't duplicate. So let's do that backwards. Okay, now there's two. Sometimes it's just really hard to get this exactly where you want it. Because he is trying to drop it in that section there. So I'm hitting Control Z or Apple Z on the keyboard to kind of back that up. Okay, make sure I get a copy of it this time. Let's see if I can drag it into the section. You should see it highlight. Sometimes it's just hard to see the highlight depending on the color that you're working on of the background. And then sometimes it's also easier to drag things down instead of up. Now I've got some, I've got some different icons. Uh, let's see. We use the sword down here, um, and then I've got a different one I'm going to use for here. So I think we're in good shape so far. We might scale this one down some more. This is a full width, so 5% on the full width section. This looks good. Um, I know we got an issue on mobile with this one, so I'm going to go to design, text. On the, well, actually, on the, um, not on the text, but on the, either the sizing or the spacing. Okay, so under the spacing, you can see I've got some padding in here. We can click the mobile icon and then go to mobile. And we can see what that looks like. And it's going to really string it out because I added the padding to the left and the right. So if we bring that down to, I don't know, 9 pixels on the left and right, then that's going to make that readable on the mobile. 
And it looks like we're also going to need to adjust the size of our icons. This section is going to need adjusting for mobile as well. But I knew that this one existed. Okay. So in this section, this is going to be this going to be kind of challenging. We'd really love to get some some really big angles in the background. So we're going to play around that for a second here. So background gradient. Uh, so let's do let's do black and white, and then we're going to make that a linear. But we're going to change it. Let's see if we do. If we do a 45, and then we basically want to squish these together and see what happens. I have no idea. Um, so if this is 50, and the start point is 50 and the end point is 50, yeah, so we get this hard line, which is pretty cool. So the problem is, is it's not going to be, it's not going to be conductive to uh, any of the text we got to read on top. So what we could do is, so if we offset this, if it's maybe if it's 80 20, then we've got this nice cut bar on the side, which is kind of cool. And that kind of lines up with the triangles. Uh, I don't know if that's a 45 or if that's a little bit, a little bit steeper. We definitely could go a little steeper with the angle, uh, so we can bump that up to where it kind of mimics what's going on with the triangles. Yeah. So there we go. So that's pretty cool. We'll have to check the mobile on that, and then. Now these little icons, let's see if we, this is outdoor lighting, uh, so let's see if we can actually find a lighting icon. I don't know if there's one that exists in here or something that could represent light. We have a speaker, so that's good to know. Um, uh, there's a light bulb, okay. We'll roll with that for a second. Okay, outdoor sound systems. We just saw a sound icon. So just trying to use what's what's available to us here. Okay, here is a speaker with loud sound. So we can grab that one. Uh, custom decks. I know that's going to be practically impossible <laughs> to find a to find one for that. But let's see what's here. Um, yeah, definitely I'm gonna have a picture of a porch or something like that. Um, I do have a house here. And then masonry. This this would be bricks or blocks, stacks, anything of that nature. and we have fire pits I don't know if we have a fire we have a compass that's related to the fire pits at least it's something I know it's not exactly matching with the text but it's interesting nonetheless okay so we're gonna roll with those for now and then what might be also cool is maybe on the bottom of this section if we could add a divider so either either way either to the bottom of the top one or to the top of the other one so here's the bottom tab divider style uh, I don't know if we want the gradients or shades or if we want just the hard one there alright so there's some more kind of black and white 
It doesn't pull in the red though from the other section. So maybe we should do it the other way around. So let's save that and then let's go to the, this next section down here. See what kind of divider we have available to the top. Underneath section, above section. Oh, I might have missed that on the other one. That's kind of interesting. I'm, so we've got some shades there. I, think, I feel like we need something in here that's going to pull those together. Like we need a, a section in here that's got the divider in it. So if we do a regular section, and then we do the text, and then we'll do an image. This is just so we can bring the elements together on the page. Uh, we're going to use that helmet. And I could just do this circle. I just want to put something in here. Design, alignment, center. And then, okay, so this is the image. I want to scale this down, sizing. Then we're going to take this padding out of here, and then in the in the section here, we're going to go. So we want to do that gradient and create kind of a cross over, like we did once before. I keep it keeps highlighting the um, the piece so this one is not knocked out which I thought it was transparent somehow it's not okay, that one's knocked out but then you can't see the bottom of it come back to that so we have this design element here with this angle here and so we kind of need to bring that back in up here we have white on the corner so maybe it was white on this corner if it was flipped over and you know maybe the element I mean I kind of like it centered but it doesn't really work unless we can move it up So on the background, so if we flip this, we made this white, we made this one black, go the other way, but then we got to reverse our icon. So filters, design, filters, invert. So 
So now we've got kind of this black and white cut border in here. All right. Moving on to the next section. Uh, so there's a you know a lot of changes and even you know, we may even make another pass, but uh, we're really just trying to you know keep drawing out our create creativity here. We've got two more sections to do at least, um, and I've got some modifications from the bottom one. So in this one, <clears throat> hopefully we can keep this really simple. We got to get rid of this uh, divider. Um, so let's bring down our divider from the from up here. So we will make a duplicate copy of this one, and then we will move it to this other section. Um, and then again, we're going to change this to make sure that this is a so this is black. Actually, let's let's keep with our gradients. Uh, we could do a light from the left. So we'll change this one to black, but then we will move it up to a gray color. Okay, it's just like we have a light source on the left side. And then, okay. So these, these photos, these are not the real photos, so we wanna swap those out. And I've got a, actually got an icon here. I want to use this helmet and see what we can do with that. Okay, so it's got a. Um, oh, I guess the circle's coming from the actual CSS. Uh, we know you to reverse this out. So we'll go to design filters. And then move the invert oh it's doing the text as well okay but that's okay so let's let's get our helmet the way we want it and then let's go back to our text body text oh it's set to the poppins okay so there's the default font and then we have a color set there's black and that reverses out to white okay so let's take these settings and extend the testimonial styles to the rest of the ones in this section. I click extend. Okay. So it inversed out the, the pictures are really good. So now all we have to do is, is add our helmet. So I'm going to go to image and then click on the gear and go to the library upload an image okay so I'm going to do this for the other ones Wow, so that really transformed this whole section, um, which which it just it looks fabulous. Now uh, we got some consistency with the helmets. Um, it'd be nice if we had pictures of people, but um, we've got you know our gradient in there. Are you frustrated with trying to write content for your website? 
learn the web design software, and overcome all the technology challenges to get the website launched? We understand what it's like to spend hours writing, designing, and launching a website. Don't waste your time and money on something that you don't enjoy. We can easily walk you through an affordable process of creating a web design with a purpose. You will be stress-free and feel like a successful business person. All you have to do to get started is visit shepherdsloft.com and book a free web design with a purpose appointment. All right, we're uh, down to the next section, which is the outdoor living uh, answers, and um, this is not a really great title here, so we could uh, we could change this copy. And uh, you know, I had a suggestion from again from one of our our designers, and so I'm I'm going to put that in here and change this text. So they uh, you know we shine. Uh, the light on your outdoor uh, living spaces goes in so on this section we really want to darken this section up the uh, the light color is really not working for us so we're gonna go just go to a solid black on this one we've got the gradient happen on the previous one which is nice um, you know actually that that looks a lot better even just there I don't know if I like uh, the white borders or not but uh, that certainly looks better already um, and then we also want to update our divider, so we're going to delete that out, and we'll go back up and make a copy of our little icon here, our Falknot game. We're going to drag this down and put it at the top of this section. It kind of pulls that together. Um, I'm actually going to leave these colors in here. Now that we've got the black background, I think that really, really changes the dynamics of what's going on here so we'll leave that is uh, as is uh, and then so that gets us down to this bottom section uh, we want to put some texture on this and and fix our, our divider again so we'll go ahead and fix that one next we'll duplicate this one and then we can drag it down and I got a little divider at the bottom right here so I want to get rid of this one here so it's a little cleaner but then we want to add that texture in the background and I've got a different one to use this time so I've got kind of this this Celtic mat here All right and then we're gonna again we're gonna add a gradient over top of this Uh, but we have to first we got to go back to the image sorry let's go to I, I keep hitting the top tabs instead of the ones so we go back over to the image we've got to set it to uh, we got to set the background image blend uh, to screen there we go and I don't know if there is a so there's a screen option place gradient above background image so so let's try that and then it doesn't seem to be blending very well the multiply seems to be working but let's see if we can shift our gradient around now so 
So in the previous section, I think we were doing the light from the left. Um, we've just kind of been alternating that. So maybe we'll have this just coming from the right side. Or even just straight up and down. So if we go back to zero, then that will kind of be straight down. If it's one degree. And maybe move the in position down a little bit more. So I'm going to adjust these. I just kind of want this to be real subtle. There. Very nice. Very nice texture, clean. The previous section is dark. So these colors, we want to see if we can do something with those. Oh, this changes the background of the whole module. So this is definitely not the one we want to change. So I think we gotta go into each each one. See the B2 was a light gray. I think we want more of a dark gray. Looks a bit little better there. So then we just gotta change the open ones or the um I'm sorry the closed ones actually. And then we also have we got these little icons on the side. Let's start with the white and then move it down. The gray looks good. So we're going to save this here. Kind of like the borders, kind of gives it some space, some structure. So let's copy the styles from this one over to the other one. So I'm going to click the little three little dots and apply styles to active. Oop, you sure? Yeah. So I think we have to change this first one to the gray color that we want. So that one's all three, so I'll go back and change this one. That's probably an easier number to keep track of, color number. It's a little bit lighter, but that works well. All right. Now I think we've reached we've reached the bottom here. Uh, so um, actually, I'm thinking maybe this might be better if it was reversed. So let's look at this one more time. This gradient here. So it's coming out of the black, so then this blends together with the one on top. So that should be a 180. 
and then it kind of fades into this texture on the very bottom so that's pretty cool okay so let's go all the way back to the top and kind of review things um, so looking at this for this you know again for the second time the you know these words are kind of crowding this, crowding this logo it'd be nice if this video was like all the way to the bottom of my screen if it was a little taller so let's let's start with that and see if we can make some more adjustments here design sizing spacing uh, okay so here's our minimum height uh, so this is you know this is pushing right at 800 um, I'm guessing that I have kind of an average screen size. So if that's 800, I'll set all three of those. So now that fills the screen. And now it looks like we've got a lot more space. It looks like there's, there's a lot of space on the bottom left down here that doesn't have anything in the background. And there seems to be more space towards the bottom of the image so if we could arrange this and it might even work out to where if we center this text everything top to bottom <clears throat> then we could avoid the logo on the left and the waterfall that's mostly on the right side so let's try centering this instead and see if that's look will look better for us um, so we can drag all of these items to one column and I think what we want to do also is um, change this text but uh, let me get this over here first oops we can change the order and the text in a minute so I just want to get them everything in one column first and then I'm gonna go to my columns icon and change it back to one column so that everything is centered now, so my logo is really big. Um, so I'm going to need to scale that down, at least for now, until I can actually resize it. Okay, yeah, so it's centered, it's sizing. So we're going to scale this down some more. And I can see the waterfall in the background. So there's 15%. We may have to keep playing with that until we get it where we want. Um, so on these, let's center these text. Um, actually, I'm going to copy this text here. And then I'm going to delete this one. We just got too much going on. We really want to simplify this down as much as possible. And then I'm going to put that text here instead. And then we're going to center that. So this is the H1 center. All right. And then we're going to center a button design alignment center. Okay. So the waterfall. So we've still got a lot of space in the bottom. Um, and the logo is kind of the top of the waterfall. Um, so it'd be nice if it was a little bit higher. And then if our text was was much lower, closer to the bottom of the fall, and that would put our button right underneath it. Um, so we're, we're missing an adjective here, and we've got one word on the bottom. So, so let's see if we can add one word. Creating an outdoor living space worth experiencing. Wow, that really changed the whole dynamic of what's going on. Um, so the the logo has got kind of its own space up here at the top of the waterfall and it's like it's just trickling down to our words uh, this text could probably come down I don't know it's pretty big uh, let's see but it doesn't look like these other words are capitalized so let's capitalize those
and I think that's looking better because now we don't have the conflict um, but it also would be nice if we had the shadow there's just one little spot over here where the rock is glowing so if we go to our heading design heading text heading one then let's go down to the the shadow and then I like to make it full black so and you can see that that just kind of pops off there now that that that's a very subtle piece but it definitely makes a difference so all of a sudden this is really um, really coming alive and then as you scroll down you know, we've got our lights here uh, this section doesn't seem to be really doing anything for us um, I thought it might be a nice decorative piece uh, but um, I think we're just going to take that out. Uh, this this clay color is just too soft, and there's you know it, it needs a little something. So let's see if we can add uh, make it look more like this section on the bottom, uh, more kind of rugged and and with with the texture. So I'm going to go into the settings here, and this is the left column. And we're going to go in the background. Uh, and then we can go to image and let's find the image that we used below alright and again we want to see if we can do some color overlay with this okay so that's a screen uh, I wonder if we can do a multiply oh, that's, that's brilliant uh, it's a deeper red color but it's but it's it's grabby. I like it. Definitely more texture, more you know, more rugged looking. Um, you know, again here, this one is is really soft. We could try to add maybe some texture in the background of that one. Maybe something that we've already used before. So let's see. Maybe the um, the pattern that we have in the footer. So screen or overlay, I always forget which one. There's the overlay. Um, again, I think it would look better if the if the texture was on the bottom for some reason. Normally, I think it would go the other way. Either that or we need to move the starting point up. So if we move the start position or the end position up, Could also reverse it and see what it looks like on the bottom. I feel like if we put it on the bottom, it'll help balance out what's happening here. So adding a little texture in there. Um, so now this is not really making a whole lot of sense here. So let's take off that gradient off of this background. Let's change that up. It's such a big section too. But I like the way this, this texture is just kind of a part of the bottom of it and it doesn't fill the whole thing so there's plenty of area to rest. Um, so I don't really want to add texture in there. And then we've got texture here again with the symbols, the gray, and then this is another big section and and then we've, and, and yet another big section here and then we've got the, the texture on the bottom
All right, I think this is looking this is looking really good. It gets better and better uh, as we go. A lot of texture, lighting, shapes, um, icons. You know, it's looking pretty full throughout. So I'm going to delete this at the bottom. Don't plan on using that. And we'll save that again. And then what we really need to do is look at the mobile next. So if we go over to our uh, over on the left, we can we can turn on the mobile view, and then we can start looking at what what that looks like. Now I know that we set a a uh, a photo to the background for the top here. Um, our logo is way too small on the mobile. Um, again, we really need to resize that. We'll have to do that and then put it back in. Which once we understand what size it's supposed to be, but so on the mobile version, we can click the little mobile, and for now we can just kind of adjust it to the size we want it right down to the top of the waterfall is great and then on this section we want to take some of that spacing out on the um, on the mobile version so again I'm hovering over I go to spacing margin and I click on the cell phone and then uh, I'm just gonna punch something in 100 so that's a little high but I can see my button on the bottom so that's probably good for mobile actually so you know if that's what if that's all we see on the mobile that's that's pretty nice uh, so all these little icons here are just are not gonna work for us at all, at all on the mobile so I can click on the triple dot on the right side and click disable and then click the mobile and then that will remove it from the mobile view entirely um, it just doesn't have a lot of meaning because you can't really see the gradient there um, uh, let's see that's the text okay I just want the icon uh, let's see it's hard to tell which one's which <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the desktop version so that I can see these and then I can make sure that that the little lamps disabled on mobile and I'm gonna click the icon to close the window click the triple dot disable that one's good click the triple dot hide the menu okay so all those are set so I'm gonna go back to the full mobile view So those icons are hidden. Uh, this section looks good. So right here we got some space. So we got something weird happening. We can't see this one up here. That one. Uh, this is actually a lot of images to load on the mobile. I hate to hide the whole section. I mean we've got this picture here and then we've got the icons and what he does um, so it, with the exception of this section here I mean we could hide these these rows on the mobile device uh, that would save some picture loading because we do have the icons and the text below and we do have other photos on the page oops I didn't want to do that one I wanted to do the the, the whole row So the triple dot, disable, mobile, and then click on the little triple dot again to hide it. So that row and that row is hidden on the mobile, and that brings us this section. Um, so this looks, it's not quite centered. It looks like we've got some extra padding here. I'll double click on it to open the settings. And so that should be some, some spacing, some margin on the mobile so if I go to padding and then I click on the mobile icon uh, then we can punch in a number to adjust that uh, so the right and the left okay we can lock that down so it looks like we need a little spacing on the bottom as well um, so just stick with 25 probably need more than that a whole lot more than that 
Okay. Yeah, so that definitely looks better on mobile. Okay, and this little icon is way too tiny on the mobile. Um, but again, that needs to be resized and placed correctly. So I'll have to come back to that. Uh, these icons look good. Tech, the fonts looks good. All this is fine. This is fine here. Probably could use a little more space here. I'm going to open this up a lot more. There's a hundred there. Uh, the one, two, three looks fine. This all looks good. The FAQs, you know, so this works out good. This, this is why we do two columns on the FAQs so that they'll stack up on the mobile very nicely. Um, and then we're straight into the next to the footer, and that looks that looks good. So let's take a quick look at the 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 tablet view. So getting all the way back to the top. Um, so the the logo again is you know it's okay. It could be bigger on the tablet. So we could probably adjust this um, for that. But we're going to resize the logo, so that'll fix that problem text is down here you can't really see the cut waterfall a whole lot on the tablet so that's that's a little disappointing um, but we can't really move shift the video to one side so the only thing we really could do is replace it with a static photo um, which wouldn't be really good tablets only maybe 10 to 15 percent of the view so um, we, we pro it's probably okay just as is these are not making a lot of sense on the on the tablet either so I'm gonna go back to the desktop again and we're gonna adjust these so we'll disable those on the tablet as well so they'll only be visible on the desktop Okay, let's make sure we save that. Okay, so we're going back to the tablet view. Then we've hidden those on the tablet. Those will just stack out outdoor parties, no dark corners, protect your pet. Okay, this section looks awesome. That image looks good. So these images are, there's a little bit of white space over here on the right side that's that uh, padding for this section so let's see if we can adjust that for the tablet view so we'll go to design spacing uh, and this is the the padding on the right side so that's padding and then tablet and see if we put that in a zero then that'll go all the way across Oh, it looks like we got another image in here in between. So I think we need to, if we missed a section here, so let's go back to the desktop to check. So I put in some, basically some in empty text modules, but see this one doesn't have one. So I'm going to duplicate this one and then drag this one over. So instead of putting the image into the module, I put it into the background of the columns. So then I kind of need this empty module to hold the size of, the, of it when it goes to mobile. So this one doesn't have one because it just has the add module button. So I'll duplicate this empty one on the right and then drag this one over. All right, so now let's go back to the tablet view, see if that kind of solves our problem there. And then I'll actually have to test it on a, on a tablet. Okay, so we can see the fire pit and the rails, the light rail and lighting, um, lighting here. Okay, so we need some space here at the bottom on this section. So again, this is in the this um, special section. So we'll go to design, spacing, padding tablet view and then so here on the bottom we need to add 
think we did a hundred on the mobile. That's good there. All these stack up nicely. One, two, three. Uh, all the testimonials, all the FAQs, and the footer. Brilliant. Very nice. So go back into the desktop to make sure we didn't mess up any of our desktop view, changing our mobile and tablets. Okay, so we're saving that. Um, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to open it up in another window that's not in the editor. All right, so there's the logo at the top of the waterfall. Uh, and it, I can see the button at the bottom. Brilliant. We can we can get the feel of the picture. Uh, the text is big and readable. We reduce the amount of text. There's no small text. I think that's a lot more functional. Okay, and then we got our lights and our callouts. Oh, I see we missed a capitalization over here. Save that. All right, and those look good. That one looks great. Very nice. Okay, that's it. So this is our the end of our really our our first take. Um, so we will have the customer review this uh, and give us some feedback. Uh, we do have still have some work to do. The images and the icons need to be properly resized and reinserted. Um, the customer will need to approve the photos that we've used. So you know there's there's still some possibly some tweaking to go, but we've got a really great start and. You know, really, you know, I think about uh, the customer. We try to launch them in 30 days, and um, so we've we've got something that we can launch, and that's what's important, and that we can continue to tweak and make things better as we go. We can optimize and uh, you know look at the UX and design and and spelling and everything else, um, you know, and continue to make we get more eyeballs on it. So kind of do it like I do a soft launch in 30 days, and then you know, when it's a little more polished, they can make an official announcement. So we finished up the Viking Outdoor web design homepage second pass, and we're gonna be back in the next episode to make any changes that the customer has. So we hope to see you in that episode. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like our videos.